Hello and welcome to the Bellcast, the How to Turn Dragon podcast. I'm your host, HC, and with me are... Russ2112. And Wolf. And we're back from the break with... Kind of di- dour news, I guess you can say, because... because or good news, depending on how you look at things, maybe. Yeah, we'll go over this soon enough, but... Uh, Apparently, the final graphic novel in the How to Turn Dragon graphic novel trilogy, which started with the Serpent Ser and continued with Dragonvine, um, is, is cancelled. The third installment, called The Fire Tides, has apparently been cancelled by Dark Horse and DreamWorks Animation. This is not going to continue unless, according to Richard Hamilton, there will be enough noise regarding this, but as of now, the trilogy is no more. Uh, the, the trilogy that a lot of fans have been hoping for, because it, uh, you know, bridged How to Turn Dragon 2 and the Hidden World, is no longer a thing. So, with that said, what do you think caused this cancellation? Um, looking it up... Co-writer and co-director. Yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, this uh, this announcement has been brought to to the public's attention by Richard Hamilton, the w- one of the main writers of Race to the Edge, and and the writer co-writer of these gothic novels, alongside Linda Blunt, the mm-hmm. director of the movies. Looking it up, it looks like the first two novels had some delays with production, and it looks like that's why they shelved the project. Like it was just due to delays to the other ones, so they just shelved the project. No clue though. Mm-hmm. Could be anything. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that that's a bit of an open and the answer. Rush, uh, do you have anything specific? Um. No. I mean, it, it could be a number of things that caused them to <coughs> delay it, but uh, or just completely shelve it. But I, I think that if. How, if the hidden world is successful enough, which I'm pretty sure it will be, they like uh, by the time te- we can we can probably say that you know the hidden world is out in Australia uh, right. by this point, and uh, like the last time I checked, which was yesterday, it already made uh, uh, above five million dollars mm. in Australia alone. So something tells me it's going to be quite successful. Right, and I think that it may. Um, they may continue the series if they get enough from the movie. It, not as like, oh, you know, this is solely reliant on the uh, return we get from the movie, but it, it's more of a, you know, the movie was so popular that we might actually put out the third novel. Um, but even then, it would be a matter of, hey, it's already been shelved. I don't know how far they've gotten with it. They'd have to start basically from where they left off, which seems like they had almost no input on it. Sort of, you know, be, like very storyboarded. Uh, there, there that, was, but... there has to be a plan because this was announced as a trilogy. First of all, as far yeah. as I remember, it was announced as such. And second of all, Dragon Vine, we talked about this, does end with a cliffhanger. Yeah, I, I mean, the, it, they were very loosely tied together. That that between the first and the second. They weren't, but uh, the, you could argue, I guess, that it would be tied to the second novel since we did have the minor cliffhanger. It, it, it's still, you know, possible that that's just a haha kind of you think about it, but it has nothing to do with the third novel whatsoever. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> if, um, okay, I have a few theories, if if you can call, call that. Uh... And before I, before I should say anything, I just want to say this. Um, I am no expert on how the comic book industry works uh, as opposed to movies. I can't really tell you if these are the exact reasons as to why this was cancelled, but I do, think, uh, I do think there's some... It might, have, it might have played some part. Again, I'm not saying this is true. I'm just speculating. I, I'm not... A reliable source on this. But first of all, like Rush said, uh, the entire the entire graphic novel series has been kind of significantly delayed 
a lot. Like if you know, the, there we go. Like, like if you remember the when Serpentor was announced, it was supposed it was announced to come out in 2016, and we received it in 2017. And I think uh, Dragonvine was supposed to be like a, exactly a year later, and it was released closer to the end of 2018 than the start of 2018. So, and also, you know, we talked about in Dragonvine how the artists change halfway through. So mm -hmm. that probably means that you know it might, you know, it might have just been like a back burner project, like not a main focus. Well, I mean, it's not a main they're focus. Staying, they're staying true to how to train your dragon form, delaying. <laughs> uh, but, uh, well, hey, if you think about it, um, DreamWorks getting acquired by Comcast that could have been that could have. Yeah, you know, on the it, one it's hand, probably what delayed how to train your dragon. It could form. be. Yeah, because the third thing I was about to say is that when you really look at this, DreamWorks didn't have much to do with marketing the graphic novels. Also notice that, you know, a lot of fans weren't even aware that these things were coming out unless they <laughs> researched Amazon or something. There was no announcement to any of this. And, you know, and, and you know, go, going into the fact that it's Dark Horse who also do the Legend, the Legend of Korra graphic novels, Nickelodeon like uh, advertises those all the time on their Twitter and Facebook. Like you'll see them giving away sneak peeks and everything. Mm -hmm. DreamWorks never really did this with either Soap and Cell or Dragonfly. So, mm -hmm. uh, so I'm just guessing it was like it was just. Let's try this. If it if it makes money, good. If not, meh. And apparently, and apparently, just now they came came to the conclusion that they, and because you know, looking at Dragonvine again, like we said, artists change halfway through. The story itself is kind of um, rushed and unexplained. I think we talked about this in our review of it. Like, go back to check out the episode if you want to. Um, so it kind of screams rush production yeah. when reading through it. Don't drag me so, into this. <laughs> sure. This is actually one of the time I'm not making any puns. Just your name is also a word. Live with it. I know, I know. I was just screwing around. I, I think this is very much, you know, one of those predicaments where this was a back burner project for both companies. Neither company took it extremely seriously. Mm -hmm. It was very much, hey, let's do this thing, see how it works out. I don't think it made because a ton of money like, either well, so way. This one, Dean had more direct input than the TV show. I feel like it was it was a side project for him where he wanted to do more than just the movies, but not something that's in a TV show or a movie. He wanted to do something that's like, or it could have been an instance of him being like, hey, you know, I have these ideas of what they could be doing. You know, they're kind of the other adventures that aren't big enough for their own movie and things yeah. like that yeah but then again then again though it does kind of bring the question of how was this even conceived because dreamworks had to give an a-ok -okay on this because the franchise is theirs not these but but then again it, it does seem like a backbone project also because notice that this is the only dreamworks franchise to really receive there we go oh. Okay, so Rush just died, and luckily I'm recording as well, just in case. Okay, okay, Phew. But uh, sorry for this, folks. Back on back on topic. This, this is the only DreamWorks franchise that received any sort of comic book uh, representation. Am I correct? Like I don't I don't think Shrek has anything, and neither does Kung Fu Panda, unless I'm missing something really obscure. I don't know. I can look. So, you know, maybe it was the, their pilot to, like, see if anything comes out of this. And apparently it didn't, you know, the, the, the two graphic novels didn't really sell anything. And honestly, it just feels like DreamWorks didn't really advertise any of this. And yes, there are Kung Fu Panda comics. Oh, okay. Like very, very, I think, very much directed at kid things. Hmm. Nothing Actually, I think major. I think there were also comic uh, comic books, not necessarily Dark Horse, but uh, 
about uh, for riders and defenders of Belk, if I recall correctly. I remember yeah, I read some. I read some of the, <clears throat> some it wasn't of the riders. Specific, it wasn't specifically like. It wasn't one for one to Riders of Berk. Like it was something entirely different. They just called it Riders of Berk, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I believe I've read somewhere that they are, that they are supposedly non-canon. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. Like they definitely do their own thing, which is fine. Yeah, I'm sure. Again, just because we say something is not canon doesn't mean it can be good in its own right. We are just uh, stating this is not. Okay, um, but anyway, um, and so do you have anything else to say on this, or should we move on? I mean, like I was going to say earlier, right? Like I think this is, you know, definitely a, again a back burner project for both companies, and also it's possible, right, that be like the delays could have been down to Dean himself, right? Because it could very much have been a issue of him working on the third movie and doing everything he's doing and being a co-writer on this. They probably Although, had you know, to go through him to okay a lot of things, and because of that, and because of his schedule, it slowed everything down. Actually, I think we said this way back in our Sub and Cell review, not so much in Dragon Vine, and you can also kind of see this in the, like, in terms of marketing, that, welcome back, welcome back, Rush, um, <clears throat> what, okay. what so I, I was I, recording as well, so we're still safe. Okay, good. I, <laughs> I stopped recording. I was being really, really dumb. I stopped recording because I was trying to do... Okay. Basically, to basically Wolf kept the, kept the show going, which is good. Have you been recording the whole time, or did you record when I stopped? I've been recording the whole time. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wolf so back to what the, savior. Back to what I was saying, though. Uh, back in our Serpent Star review, and I think we may have mentioned that in Dragon Line as well, that again, this do, this uh, project was like a co a, a co a collaboration between Dean Debla, who, who directs and uh, writes the movies, and Richard Hamilton, who is in, mostly in charge of Race to the Edge. Mm -hmm. So, and I think we kind of said that it feels like Dean wrote the overall story, and but Richard Hamilton really. You know, wrote the dialogue and the character interactions, and uh, and you know when doing marketing for for this, I saw Richard Hamilton doing a lot more marketing to to the graphic novels than Dean did, because you know Dean has the third movie and it's a lot of uh, work and everything. So that that also kind of so Wolf probably has a point that maybe a lot of stuff had to go to Dean in order to okay. But then again, how big was his involvement to begin with? Um, besides of just saying, okay, I have this uh, this idea for a trilogy, blah, 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 and then let Richard Hamilton do, actually develop it. True. Again, true. again, we're just theorizing. We're not down. We don't really know. But... Um, I think that's pretty much it for what caused this. Uh, so let's move on to the next thing. Uh, Wolf, are you annoyed with this cancellation, or do, or or you really don't care? <sighs> um, meh. I guess I, I guess it's very much. I I don't really care. I suppose you could say. It's. I guess it sucks that we don't get this. You know, the third and final book for this little trilogy that they were creating. I'd like to have seen the end of it and seen where they went with it, because again, like I said back in Dragonvine, there were a ton of things they introduced that felt like they came from nowhere, and I would have liked to have seen what their plan with that was. But mm -hmm. I also can't say I'm at a loss really. Like I don't. It it doesn't like you know not getting it isn't the end of my world, right? Like not getting it doesn't really hurt me all that much. It just sucks a bit, but I can move on and deal with that. It. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Rush, where do you stand? Are you annoyed with the cancellation? Nah. Rush. And Rush is dead again. <laughs> yeah. Up, uh, oh. Okay, so until that comes back, I'll I'll say that I'm kind of in the eh, eh, 
in the you know in the as situation because like i'll say this again go back to the reviews if you want a more detailed outlook on this but i thought self and Cell was fine for what it was and i found dragon vine to be really underwhelming in a lot of in a lot of places mm -hmm. so so it's not like i'm so it's not like you know by having this been cancelled i don't re i'm like um i don't think that something could have really s quote unquote saved this yeah so you know you know it's gone it's not it's not like uh, his the older son said that hidden world is is cancelled you know mm -hmm. that that would hurt a lot more but at the same time it does kind of suck that you know out of a trilogy it, it, it kind of seems to be a running team that the like people plan a trilogy and then the second one kind of flops in a way and all of a sudden the third one doesn't get made and that always sucks not uh, not just with this case specifically so in in all of regards i'm i'm in the air side but it is kind of disappointing to think that you know maybe this one would have been the best one maybe this one would have been the one that that brings it all together and maybe fixes some of our problems with the other two potentially you know? yeah yeah I'd agree. so maybe this was the one i don't know but you know it's also nothing that i said god i wish this would have come out and fixed the entire thing and you know, blew every other how to change dragon property out of the water. No, it's nothing like that. I didn't even expect it to be something magnificent, right? I'll just read it as a fan and because I need to review it. But, I, uh, you know, it's gone. It sucks that it's gone, but at the same time, not the end of the world. I, I've read about much more heartbreaking consolations yeah. from this franchise and other franchises. Agreed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not much you can really add to that. Like other than yeah, I, I would agree. Um, Rush is Rush back? Probably not. He tried to uh, say hello, there hello, he is. Hello. hello, we can hear oh, you. Now. Yeah, I, I was no, I was I was on my phone and I was still connected to the internet. I have to turn off the internet and like wait a second. Oh. But uh, yeah, so I, I I said I'm I'm not as annoyed. At, with the novel not happening as I am with my internet right now. So, uh, <laughs> okay, so yeah, there you go. You Russia, Russia, Russia's internet is worse than the novel getting cancelled. Right. You heard of I mean, I was, I was never really too invested in the novels because um, I see those as like just short one-off stories. You know, with the TV show, you get, you can get continuations. I mean, sure, you get like one episodes, singular episodes that may not have bearing on the others or you have like series which continue on you get a little bit more invested because you know there's going to be more for this i knew there was going to be three novels and after the second one wasn't really connected with the first i'm like okay these are really not it's not necessarily non sequitur but it's it's something that if i miss i miss one i never read one of them i don't think i'd be missed whoa whoa so I didn't get too invested. Rush, rush. You are getting, you are getting really staticky. Mm. Robo Rush. Nice. You're better now. But you went Robo yeah, on us for well. a bit. I know that feeling. I had okay. the exact same problem Launched the other day the, when yeah. we tried to record. So I yes. know exactly. Long story short, I, long story short, I didn't get too invested in the graphic novel series because it wasn't something that was as story driven as long as the tv show mm -hmm. Fair enough. okay yeah so yeah i think um again like um going back none of us were really the biggest fans of the graphic novels like yeah we we enjoyed elements of them and we and you know we didn't hate them but at the same time we were like yeah sure they're a thing we we would like to see where the entire thing is going, but at the same time, it's not important to us as the movies or Race to the Edge. So, now, this is the interesting part. Uh, what do you think this last novel would have been about if it were to come out? I mean, it had to have something to do with the Dragon Cry, at the very least. 
because where did that come from? And I need to know more about it because you've introduced this thing that can apparently translate the dragons into something you can understand as humans. So, you know, where did that come from? Who is Skulder? Where did he come from? What is he about? Yeah. Then again, do you really think it's something they would have explained? Speak. It? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are they a lot have of stuff. to. You can't introduce something like that in the middle of the graphic novel. I might add, like out of nowhere, wasn't yeah. even mentioned in the first book, and all of a sudden we have scale speak. We have, and I hit my mic. Sorry about that. We have scale speak. We have this person named Scolder. We have the the dragon cry. Yeah, the dragon cry. Like all of this introduced in the middle of this book, and for us to get. If the third graphic novel came out and we got nothing on it, that would be insane. Ridiculous. Because, like, you can't introduce this stuff and not give us anything about it at all. Like, that's yeah, that's not storytelling 101. I know that. Mm-hmm. True. So um... that would have to be in it. At the very least, in some way, shape, or form, even something small. Okay, fair enough. Um, personally, you know, seeing how Dragonbind ended with a cliffhanger, uh, that some of the Dragonbind did survive, um, then, and considering the fact they kind of beat the Dragonbind with their fire weapons, something, te- something tells me that. Uh, there would have been, and, and you know, this was uh, titled uh, Fire Tides. So this probably had something to do with the fire, with them trying to fight the, the surviving dragon vine, and the, their fire weapons end up turning uh, against them, in a sense, you know. Mm-hmm. That's my bet on it. And in terms of, uh, and, you know, something I would have liked to, liked to see is that, you know, in Serpent Cell, we go to Nepatim. I think we agree this is how we pronounce it. Mm-hmm. And then in um, Dragon Vine, we meet. I forgot what their name. What their name? Like uh, I forgot their I'm names. I'm trying to find yeah. that part in the book. Yeah, uh, basically the tribe that that they meet, the Wakanda tribe of this uh, of this uh, series. So maybe it would no, have been nice. It's definitely not to the Wakanda see... tribe. They're not that advanced. Well, you know what uh, you know They're what just I mean. Another it's tribe. Only... Yeah. I, I see. I saw people comparing this to Black Panther, so I went with it. Um, but you know, there there are these two there are these two tribes that uh, each uh, see dragons different differently. One one lives on, on a giant bunch of dragons, and the others really doesn't really like dragons. So maybe seeing these two tribes come together in that third one. Or maybe seeing a whole new tribe and uh, and you know all of them teaming up together to help pick up. This could have been a, a fun, uh, like a fun one to uh, to conclude this. I suppose, yeah. My like you know my wish list if this were to happen, if who knows at this point. And also, I think. Uh, I'm not sure how much this would have connected to the hidden world, and honestly, at this point, does it really matter? Eh, I suppose. You know, because when we start hidden world, uh, from what we were told, and kinda from from people who all decide, because like we said, it's out in some places of the in the world. If you are listening to this and you saw it, good for you. I'm so jealous. But, um, you know, going over the information we received, I think the graphic novel so far really seems to be leading to the start of it. Of you know, Nothing really seems to lead to this dragon utopia that they're talking about in the trailers. The character's name is Beana, but I don't know yeah, the that, tribe's the, name. Yeah, that's one. Like that's the that's the leader. That's uh, that I remember. And also, you know, it's not. It, it's worth remembering. Like apparently, Hiccup can speak their language too, or at least knows a few words from their language. So, because mm-hmm. he understood what Beana's name meant, and you know, as well. Yeah. So that's a nice little thing that could be called back to, like where Hiccup possibly picked up different languages and things of that nature. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that uh, that could be nice. But again, to go back to what I'm saying, to what I'm saying, and kind of as to kind of maybe continuing the, if we really care that uh, these are cancelled, um, what does this really mean in the big picture? You know, yeah, I get it that it's a fun, that it's a little fun fact. I don't need anything to have a story significance. But again, mm-hmm. seeing how this uh, this uh, series was advertised as bridging How to Turn Dragon Two and the Hidden World, then what was the what was the end game to lead us to Hidden World? That's uh, that's my uh, biggest question. That maybe this could have been us. This last one could have answered. I don't know. I mean, it, it is worth pointing out, right? Like the first two graphic novels, and I suspect the third one would have followed the same example that. The first two graphic novels really aren't all that connected. They're mm-hmm. very much kind of stories of the week sort of deals, right? Like there's not anything there connecting the first graphic novel to the second. And I highly yes. doubt there would be anything connecting the second graphic novel to the third, mostly. There might be little <laughs> tidbits here and there, little callbacks. But for the most part, what you're getting is a very self-contained story. Yes. Mm-hmm. Then I, I still bring up that cliffhanger, though. I don't think they just tease that, tease no, that for I nothing. Think, because... I, I think that is nothing. If I'm being honest with you, I do think that is nothing. I think that's just a, hey, the dragon root, the dragon vine's still out there, still going to kind of do its thing. Woo. Wouldn't it be the biggest troll in the world if that actually leads to something in the hidden world that all of a sudden it comes back? There is no way they would do that. Yeah, I know, I know, just... Hey, again, you know. the books don't matter. <laughs> to quote another really <laughs> famous what, YouTube channel. What uh, books do you mean, though? The graphic novels? Or All the of them. Books? Any outs- <laughs> again, you have to remember, right? Like, any If you go into a movie theater and the movie expects you to understand or have read or have watched outside oh, yeah, sure. media, then that movie has already failed. As a movie. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just joking. I know, because, I know you because are. Because started... I'm shutting it down. No fun. Okay. Mm-hmm. Said the wolf. Um, okay. Uh, although that's something that I would argue about Cliffhanger. That you know, you do say that Serpentor and Dragonfly are not really connected, and you're right. But then again, Serpentor didn't really end on a note that demanded a, a sequel. If you know what I mean, True. it was just that that was really just a one off thing, uh, like a um, story of the week. Uh, so, 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 you know, ending Dragonvine on the cliffhanger and knowing that they'll probably that and knowing back then that there was going to be a third one, I think there was a plan for it. But then again, I guess we will never know unless someone will come out and outright say it. But or unless they do decide to make it if enough people bother Dean and DreamWorks. So. Mm-hmm. I suppose tweet at Dean and tweet at DreamWorks that you want to see this novel made. Yeah. It's pretty much the only thing you can do at this point. Unless, like you said, someone decides, hey, we're here's everything we had. Have fun. Which, that would be a cool thing to do, but don't expect Power it. Power of internet compels me. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> hey, Rush. Finally. Yeah. Good thing I've been recording. Okay, yeah. So... Just to quickly sum this up, Rush, um, what do you think this last novel will have been about? Like, what was, what are you all theory? Lava. Lava. Okay. I don't know. Fire tides and all. Um, no, the the fire, name loosely. Fire water. Sig- it is fire tide, so the water is fire. Fire water. Greek fire. Mm, maybe. Greek lightning. Um, but the the. The titles are actually somewhat loosely related to the story, with Dragonvine being very on the nose and Serpent's Heir being, oh, this guy just calls him that himself that, like at the very end. Um, the Fiery Tides, I feel like, would probably be about an island made of fire. No, I feel like it would be something that's like a story. <laughs> Where like you know, Gobber's like, oh, the fire tides are coming because some like weird natural occurrence happens, or something like that. And they're like, oh wow, we have to prevent the fire tides from happening, and they happen anyway. But it's like not what they thought at all. It's just the sun setting on the water, or it's a dragon um, thing, or it's a dragon. Well, it's, it's always a dragon thing. <laughs> it's always a dragon um, thing. Maybe you know, maybe it's a 
dragon we would have seen. You know in... what? I think it's a new water dragon that actually uses fire instead of electricity or hot water. You know something? That could have been cool. Always a dragon. Always a dragon thing. Always got to link it it's back to a dragon. Always, it's always a dragon thing. Well, it is how to train your dragon. So... Which we never see them do, by the way. Um, first one? Didn't really do a lot of training. More just... How really, it was more... <laughs> yeah. R it was definitely Riders befriending. If anything, Better Toothless trained Hiccup dragon. how to ride him. Not so much Hiccup trained Toothless. How to enslave your dragon. There you go. Oh god. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm so rush. I'm so glad Rush came back <laughs> just for this one joke. I had, I, I had a feeling you were about to say that. Well, you know me too well. Like I know you well, way too well. I want to reference something, but I won't. Um, anyway, anything else to add about um, Fire Tide's con uh, cancellation? I think that I about guess. sums it up. <laughs> so this I guess. To to talk. Well, if that's uh, all we have to say, that's been all for this episode of the Bellcast. We hope you enjoyed. What do you think about the Fire Tides cancellation? What do, would you love to see in that uh, co in that comic book or graphic novel? If it were to come out, whatever you, whatever your thoughts are, you can tell Dean the Blind Remox animation about this on their Twitter. Maybe one day they'll actually give it to us. And you can also... And you can also tell us this in the comment section below on our Tumblr, where we're known as Bearcast Team. Know that we are not really going there in the recent days because we're afraid of spoilers. I mean, uh, I do. Our... I'm the one who makes the announcements on the on the Tumblr page. Yeah, but uh, I'm assuming you head out as soon as you make the announcement. So... If you send something, I will see it, and it will be responded to. Okay. So you can tell Wolf, and he'll tell us about this in the, on our Tumblr, which is Belkast Team, on our Twitter, Belkast with a capital B with a capital C, and you can find all of us on the Hunter Dragon Dragon Valhalla Discord server. So until next time, I was HC. I was probably rushed, but the internet may not allow me to be. <laughs> and I've been Wolf. And we'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.